As I mentioned in a previous news video, Serato just recently released a couple of really useful tools for all the DJs getting their start live streaming. So in this video, let's go over the more useful tool in my opinion, and that's their Now Playing plugin for Twitch. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. Serato's Now Playing Twitch plugin allows viewers of your Twitch stream to see exactly what tracks you're playing right at that moment. It actually takes the data directly from your Serato DJ Pro and displays the song title as well as the artist right on screen for anyone watching your stream. The setup process is pretty simple as well, so let's walk through all of those steps so you can get a more professional looking live stream. So let's start with the Twitch side of the setup. So you're going to want to go to your creator dashboard and then you're going to want to click on this extensions tab right here which will take you to the page where you can search and install all of the different extensions and plugins for your Twitch stream. Next, we're going to want to go to the search bar and type in Serato Now Playing. It'll be the first one that pops up. All you have to do is click install. Then it says extension installed successfully. That's great. Now the next step we're going to need to do is go ahead and configure it. So we'll do that now. And this is where you can customize the plugin and how it looks on your stream. So first here at the top, it says Serato account link, but we'll get back to this section because that dives into what goes on in Serato DJ Pro. So let's go ahead and move down. The first option we have is the overlay size. So you have small, medium, and large. Here's a preview on the right side so you can see exactly how much of the screen it'll take up. I think I'll go with medium. Next, we have our position where we can actually place the plugin in six different locations on the actual screen. So we can do top, left, middle, right, bottom, left, middle, and right. I'm gonna go ahead with bottom left. Then under that, we have the scrolling speed so you can make it scroll a little bit slower or scroll super fast. I think I'm gonna go a little less than half. The stream latency compensation, you can pretty much leave that at default. Then here's the fun stuff. You can actually customize the colors of multiple parts of the plugin. So currently, it doesn't have any background color or secondary background color, so let's change that. So let's try yellow for the background and orange. Okay, yeah, that looks cool. Or let's see, try one more combination, maybe something like this. Uh, I like that yellow and orange a little bit better. Then you can also change the text color as well, so maybe red. And then as you can see on the left side right here, we have a Serato emote and we can change that as well. So let's try, I like the fire, kind of matches the color that we got going on. And then you can also enable one on the right side too. And then you can actually have it animate two different ways. So you can have it flip back and forth or you can have it rotate. I think I like the flip animation a little bit better. Then all that's left is the save changes. Changes saved successfully. And now we can go to Serato DJ Pro and set everything up on that side. So what we're gonna wanna do is copy this code. All we have to do is hit the copy button, code copy to clipboard. And now let's switch over to Serato DJ Pro. So here we're in Serato. All we have to do is click on the history tab, start live playlist. And it'll take us to the Serato website. And you'll notice it has the Serato now playing Twitch extension already here at the top. All we need to do is go ahead and paste that code and link account. And now my Twitch account is linked to my Serato account. And now I can use the now playing extension in Serato. So to enable that, all you have to do is before you start playing, hit the start live playlist button. And then once you go back to the website, just hit start live playlist and it'll actually start a playlist and as you play songs this track list will fill in so let's take a look at uh, one of my earlier streams so here's one from the other day and here's all the songs that I played and it tells you exactly when I played them gives you the the artist and the actual song title so this is a really cool way to kind of 
share what you're playing with your audience as well as them being able to see it on screen at the same time. That's it, it's that simple. You're all set up and ready to go and once you're done, all you have to do is either close Serato or you can go ahead and hit the start live playlist button again and it'll stop uh, recording and that's it. As a DJ that loves sharing new music with his audience, this Serato Now Playing plugin for Twitch really helps out. Instead of my audience having to ask me what track I'm playing, it's shown directly on the screen. And because this Now Playing plugin uses the live playlist feature in Serato DJ Pro, it actually saves the entire track list for your live stream. So if that's something that you want to share with your audience afterwards, it's saved as well. Overall, I think this Now Playing plugin for Twitch is a great addition for any DJ that's using Serato DJ Pro. And big shout outs to Serato for providing this to the community for free. And with that, I want to ask the question of the day. How do you feel about sharing the tracks that you're playing on your live stream? Is it something that you're willing to share with your audience? Or do you want to take a more old school approach and leave it up to them to discover the music that you're playing? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more tips, tricks, and tutorials just like this one, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.